may know, there is a preliminary injunction that's been entered. Prior to the preliminary injunction, were these weekly meetings taking place? I don't know if weekly meetings uh, occurred, again, before the injunction, but certainly we've been We've been very open about this, engaged with does, social media. Does the, does the FBI intend to continue to have such meetings leading up to the 2024 election to police election-related speech? Well, we're not going to be policing election-related that's, that's what you previously did. Uh, that's not, I do not agree with that description. Okay, well, here's what I would say. This committee has learned that the FBI acted to, quote, discredit leaked information about Hunter Biden before and after it was published, that quote, Twitter's contact with the FBI was constant and pervasive and as if it were a subsidiary and that, quote, a surprisingly high number are requests by the FBI for Twitter to take down on action, take action on election misinformation, even involving joke tweets from low follower accounts. Are you aware that that has been reported? I am aware of some of what the committee has found in its report, okay. but I, I will add that I'm not sure I agree with the findings. But that's what we report. found. Uh, Director Way, you and I both know that the federal government is forbidden from doing indirectly what it cannot do directly. In other words, neither you nor the FBI have any legal authority to circumvent the First Amendment by using a surrogate to do your dirty work. Yet that is exactly what you have been doing. The Bureau, under your watch, has been using proxies to violate the First Amendment. Were you the person who gave the orders to use these social media companies to violate the First Amer the, the, violate Americans' First Amendment rights? Again, I don't agree with your description of our engagement with so social who, media companies. So, so who made the decision to use social media companies as a proxy to suppress the First Amendment rights of American citizens. Because I don't believe that's what we did. I'm not sure there's anyone that would have made such a decision. Do you really expect the American public to believe that you were not involved in the decisions related to using social media companies to suppress the First Amendment rights of, of, of American citizens? I can't help what people will believe or not. I can only speak to what the facts are.